Shadzian just dropped its biggest change yet, namespaces. And here is why this tiny feature is a huge deal for your projects. We can now configure and use multiple resource registries in our projects. But what does that actually mean? This means you can install now not just components, but also different libraries, AI prompts, configuration, or whatever you need, all from different registries, whether they're public, third party, or even your own private libraries. And here is a quick demo. So here on my project, I want to put in the 8-bit CN registry. I'm inside of my components.json file, and I'm simply going to create a new object called registries. Inside, I'm going to put at, and then my namespace. It's going to be 8bitcn here. You can put in whatever you want. It is not centralized. And I'm putting in the source of the components on 8bitcn. Now we can go to our terminal and here we have some new fancy shedcn commands. We have shedcn search, for example, and we are putting in our 8bitcn namespace query and then login. This one is going to search for all the login blocks or components that we have. And we have four. We have login page, login form, login form two and login form with image. And we're also getting pagination in case we want to display this somewhere. And the important thing is this add command argument. So we need this argument right here if we want to add this component to our project. So now next command that we're going to use is the classic shedcn latest add command but this time we're not putting here button or card we're putting in at 8bitcn again our namespace and then slash 8bit login form so this is basically that argument that we saw in the search before and now when i press enter we are checking our registry and installing and putting all the components that we need for this 8-bit login form block right here. Important thing to know is that we can now add private libraries. So here, if you check this one, we have the URL and we also have the headers. So we can put in the authorization token and we can pull in components from private libraries. This is something that couldn't be done before with ShedCN registry. And we can see here in the documentation that we can create multiple registries for different purposes. That allows us to organize by type, team, visibility, version, and no naming conflicts because it is not centralized. So now we can check here the examples we can put in by the resource type, for example, components, hooks, utils, prompts. We can put in by team or department, which is really awesome. If you have a big team, you can just separate your components in registries like this. And by stability, if we have stable, latest, experimental, etc. This is definitely something that is going to change the way how we import code in our projects. So we can see here that we can even import from multiple libraries in the same time. So we can put here this me lib AI so we can just paste in a bunch of components that we need and we are going to import everything from the registries inside of our project. And now the biggest change, something you won't even find in the ShedCN documentation. And this is insider info coming from ShedCN creator himself. With namespaces, everything finally clicks and the whole system makes perfect sense. There's a brand new command connected to all the registries that we added to our project, and that is MCP init. This one is initializing the MCP configuration in our IDE. So we can choose our MCP client, which we are using. I'm currently using cursor, and this one is going to add the MCP configuration and save it to our cursor mcp.json. So now what we can do is we can go back to our code and we can go to my hero section, for example. I can highlight this code right here and I can say, turn here everything to 8-bit from the 8-bit CN library. So now he knows exactly what am I using. He has all the context that he needs to pull in the components that he needs. So he is probably going to pull things like button or card or something like that. And there it is. He added here the 8-bit card, 8-bit button, 8-bit badge. So everything that he needs for the hero section and he's using the new namespace. You can see here he's adding it by pmpm dlx shed cn and then add 8-bit cn slash 8-bit button. So he's using the new configuration 
and everything works like a charm. This is changing the way how are we using different resources. So we are no longer going to the documentation of some library and reading through usage. We can just put in the MCP support here in our IDE and directly AI has context about that library and he can check there how is everything being used and put it inside of our project. And then we can see it when it is specified to our needs how it's actually supposed to be used. Shedzian keeps bending the rules, how are we building our UIs? These updates are incredible and I can't wait to see what's next.